like the irony of you being starting out as like an entertainment journalist is you actually Mm -hmm. covered one of the like the premieres one of the season premieres of the l word yeah as a journalist I i know i can't remember what season were you just like interviewing the cast like hey what's it like yeah. to be here just like softball questions like like what were you doing yeah i think they had like a it was one of those things where maybe they screened it somewhere else and then had um an after party at a restaurant in town and yeah i just went to the party and then interviewed a bunch of the cast and uh i i think you know i had probably just recently come out myself and i didn't know any of them personally um but then later later on ended up making friends with leisha and kate you know just because la becomes kind of a small world after a while um and then yeah ended up doing like kind of a cameo thing on this first season of the new the new iteration uh so it was yeah very full circle moment were you upset that you didn't have uh like a full frontal sex scene ah i did not (laughs) want that (laughs) i said no thank you i go i don't want that nobody else wants that so it was just kind of neat being there just i was more of a fly on the wall than anything yeah Um, you played like like alice in the show obviously has a talk show you played her warm-up comedian they could have used you a lot more they tried to we had a we had more stuff but i and and there was there was i think high hopes to do that um but they quickly realized that between the servicing the the cast the original cast and then these new characters it was just a tall order and there was no time for it so i think in theory uh it it they really wanted to do that and just realized it was impossible so a little peek behind the curtain. I just received screeners for the new season. The first two episodes. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. The thing doesn't air for another month. And, okay. And I was telling my friend, who's like, obviously, like, super into it, like us. Yeah. And she says, she, like, tweeted something based off this conversation. Because I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself. It's like, I have more questions. I'm more confused oh, really? than, than I was before I saw the two episodes. It's like, I, it, le- it opens a lot of doors. It opens, it, uh, there's a lot going on. And, oh, interesting. And so, so she tweeted, <laughs> horror movie pitch, a group of lesbian friends watches a season of the L word and no one is allowed <laughs> to talk about it. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Heart. Like that was the most true like joke. I, that that it, it, I'm living in a horror movie right now for the next well, thirty days. I mean, that's the thing. It is a show that you want to chat with uh, people about after. <laughs> like, where were you in your life when that show came out? I was not out yet when it first aired, um, but I remember hearing about it, and I didn't have Showtime, and I was just like, "What is this thing that everyone's talking about?" and I eventually, I think a friend had a DVD or something. I think I saw it maybe a year after it had premiered. And I watched that first episode and it blew my mind. I was like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, It didn't trigger me to come out, but it definitely made me go, holy crap, this is amazing. How did it resonate with you? Well, again, I was never into the like soap opera part of it, right? The it, it got more and more dramatic and crazy and salacious as it went on. Um, I was more intrigued by the community of it the first season, the like women being close and dating and going to have coffee. Like, I, I mean, and that seems very simple to some people, but I grew up in a town of nine thousand people and that didn't exist back then you d- we didn't talk about gay stuff there was no gay like things on television so just seeing women be friends and have relationships and you know the i love the you know dana character and the the alice story and i like seeing two women be married they're you know partner i guess who is they married oh but ma- they weren't me. married oh, right, right, but right, like right committed yeah um partners uh yeah i just like the normalcy of it 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 wasn't like um oh this is some big 
scary, weird thing. It was like, these are women living their life. I love that. And because you never got to see that, you know, you had like queer as folk had come before that, but I wasn't as familiar. It was a little bit before my time. And it was, uh, you know, on that perspective from gay men, this is like a real perspective of women and lesbians. It was, it was pretty eye opening. 